Thank you for tuning in. Welcome to the HNL podcast. Hoes, niggas love. <laughs> yeah, that like teasing, Dewey and Lou. What's up, guys? You guys good? We're good. We're chilling. Nice one. Sipping tea. So I'm sure people are wondering who are these people, you know? So who, who, who exactly? Who is Ndu? Ndu is just an ordinary guy from Durban, you know? Uh, influencer, they say. I don't like to call myself an influencer, you know. What do you like to call yourself? Just Ndu, basically. Yeah. Ndu, yeah. you know, I go with the flow. Yeah, you know, I'm myself, you know. Like, Ngatin. I'm just me, yeah, boy. So okay. I, I don't want people to be like, oh no, now I'm going to do uh, He's such an influencer. No, I, I, I don't like that, you know, because I just feel like he looks cool. The word influencer, like, it kind of limits you, yeah, boy. Yeah. So. What do you mean limits you? Man? Like, it limits you, but why, 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 why can't I be like Undu, 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 the outer brand? So be Undu, the influencer. <laughs> <laughs> he just happens to be very popular. That's oh, that's that, that's you the say thing. Undo, well, I say we, oh him, oh that dude, the uh, undo I out there clan. Man, yeah, uh, undo influences the win. No. Yeah. No. Undo. So you're basically trying to run, run away from the whole influencer thing. Yeah, in terms Is of it because you have anything do you have anything uh, I mean personal with influencers? Oh no, 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 of course not. And again I say with you, I don't wanna cap myself, I want to Undo, you know, stands for Durban, yeah, boy. Okay. He's, 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 he's built just an influencer, yeah, boy. He's out in the ground, yeah, boy. That's why I'm out of time, yeah, boy. So, yeah. that's why I try to run away from influencer. What a benefit. I've been looking at it, yeah, boy. My office is supporting, it's okay. That's influencing for now. That's fine. But when I'm outside, I'm going to run my power. Finish. Yeah. No, I've actually, I've actually seen Guti even uh, Abantu because now you just mentioned your session. And I can tell you, Guti, a lot of people are on some, ah, well, I'm a pan, because you always get the whole thing of, hey, is this guy black or not black? Because I tell you what, when mm-hmm. I met this guy, yeah, um, about 10, 11 years ago? Yeah, 11. Yeah, around that time. So we, were, we met at, at college and Miss Pumile for orientation day. And then next thing, we all just having a drink. He walks up to me, né? and mm. the first thing he says to me, would say, so show me to grand. <laughs> Shock of my life. Because you're my like, I thought you were Indian. My G. I was like, I'm going to go to your size. What do you mean? I'm going to go to your size. So how do you deal with that, bro? Hey, bro, I won't lie. Like, you know, like, I mean, I'm going you know, they are going to like, you know, I was ashamed of my parents or whatever, but, you know, the people I used to hang out with, my peers, I, I, I was different to them about physically because, you know, me being hairy, before the beard, you know. I used, I used to have a big F, big ass F, a more soul man. Yeah, soul man, yeah. chicken licking. Yeah. Exactly, I had a big F, you know. So, that was high school. Yeah, That's a free ad for chicken licking. Yeah, you. and then, <laughs> but, 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 but high school, yeah, but where I was unconscious of my looks. And then when I left high school, we learned when I couldn't end there, you know, as in, I, 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 I want to keep my hair short. We have it all these years. Yeah. Friends, I never used to grow my hair, yeah, but, because being good at job, I mean, most okay. Do are you colored? Are you Indian? Yeah, but, by the way, that's my hair right here. Mm. Yeah, but, so, but it, it looks very colored, a bit Indian. Yeah, well, <laughs> story for another day. So, <laughs> so, 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 um, like after after high school, yeah, but, uh, again, again, I was ashamed of my parents, but I, 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 I was scared to like you know, like to showcase who I am. Which I'm okay, guys, this is me. Yeah. So that's why I used to come. I'm going to clear some kundi pressure. I'm going to take it. I'm going to go my hair. I'm going to go my hair. Because I'm going to go to my hair. Are you black? Are you Indian? Like, I want to like a soul training. Because now, even on Twitter as well, I'm going to learn to live. It's okay. I'm windy, that type of thing. And you know, like, fine. We joke around, we laugh, but at the same time, it's like, ish. Yeah, it, gets, it gets quite annoying sometimes. But again, again I want to totally get to me, type of thing. Because mm. then, like, it dates back to when I was a kid. Yeah. I remember a crash. I remember a crash. When I was born. I came back to work, or go, and then my boy got to take me yeah. And then my, my other mom took me in, and then one fire crash, like it looks like a just yeah. down the road from where we stay. Yeah, but I call no mama, like, told me, yeah, but like, and she always, yeah, but she looked because I had the curly hair, yeah, but yeah, she always yeah. looked at me and be like, yeah, we're not cool. Yeah, but at the time, I, I don't know what that meant. Yeah, because mm. I, I don't know what that meant at the time because I was still mm. a kid. Yeah, but, and then when I think back now, I'm like, oh shit, 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's But has that has that changed though? Because I've seen a lot of people actually, especially on the Twitter street, um, even when they make Indian jokes, um, they always I mean tag you on those uh, Indian jokes and stuff and stuff. Has, has that changed for you? I mean, you still feel some type of way when people compare you, when people say you're Indian and stuff? Not really. Yeah. Hey guys, I won't lie. It's like, you know, Ngatin, we, 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 as, 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 okay, Ngatin, me individually and as, as black people, I feel like guys, we've been through a lot. Deeper than Lentil School, my own man. It's okay, yeah. someone compared to, compared to Indian. Yeah, no, so, I mean, definitely. I, I, I laugh it off in the corner, but I don't know how I'd react in person. I don't know how I'd react in person. But it's just Twitter, so it is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Lou? Yeah. So sad, man. Uh, no, I'm good. I'm good. Why are you shy? Man? I'm very shy. I'm extremely <laughs> shy. And you know this. Like, Come I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing. I want to do my opinions when. Now, that's why we picked you for this podcast because Not I know easy. you have a lot to say. So you need to come out of your show. Funny enough, I've got a lot to say, but I hardly say it. So yeah. I'm sure people are surprised. Even people that have me on social media will tell you hardly tweet or retweet yeah. or say anything. And now you're on a whole fucking podcast. But anyway. <laughs> Um, yeah, my name is Leander. I'm a radio personality, and that's where it ends, really. Yeah, I put up something about you um, yesterday, actually, and when I was basically introducing the panel to the people, and I was saying, okay, this is Ndui. Ndui is uh, the, the business management graduate, and he's an influencer. And a lot of people are very much excited about, oh, Ndui, um, we're finally going to see you and, and find out exactly the type of person Ndui is. We're yeah. very much excited about this podcast and so on and then i put up your profile luanda chemistry graduate fat girls diary on youtube um and obviously a radio personality like you just mentioned now uh fat girls uh diary on youtube that is what i'm mostly interested in yeah so, I mean, what's that about hey and i've been i've been slacking here i'm mm. actually really embarrassed that you brought that up because the last time i put up a video was probably like i don't know months ago i've been very distracted but anyway so fat girl's diary is i've struggled with weight my whole entire life right so mm. uh you get to a point where you're just like you know what i can't base my self-worth on what size i am because my weight goes up and down <laughs> i'm probably gonna be a slender in two months i'm probably gonna be fat again a month after that so i struggle with my weight and i realized that some point so i can't place my self-worth on the size that i am at that point in time so that's when i recorded i started fat girls diary because it's like whatever whatever shape i'm in whatever weight i weigh at that particular yeah. point in time i'm just going to wing it and embrace it because what happens if you know i now miss great opportunities because i feel like i'm not on top of my game mm. so rather i don't know polish up on the skills and who you are as a person and personality and then everything else is just going to take shape and form into whatever you're doing at that point in time so that's where Fat Girl's Diary came along. It was mostly, I don't know, trying to encourage people mm. to just, or whatever problems you are, not necessarily for fat people, but whatever you felt like your internet, I don't know, puts you at a backseat, yeah, or yeah, puts you yeah. at a disadvantage, whatever you 100%. feel like that is, put that to the, to the side and, and, and mm. go on with whatever it is that you want to do, yeah. And the chemistry, hey, I don't want to say it was a mistake because it was great. <laughs> but has 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 the whole, whole I don't know use the the word fat, uh, the whole plus size thing, um, been a, a thing for you since you you were young. I mean, right now, so 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 much was male. But obviously, I mean, you you probably had challenges growing up. True. Being a plus size um, girl to being a woman and stuff. Yeah, yeah. you know what? I'm gonna be honest. Uh, growing up was actually shitty. <laughs> <laughs> Growing up as a fat kid is shitty and that's why I think I'm trying so hard to make sure that my daughter doesn't put on too much weight uh, because I know what it's like. Firstly, okay, you'll be mocked by society and people around you clench up mm -hmm. and then you'll instill a mindset in yourself for Wootsie, clearly there are certain things that are not for you or even if they are for you, you're probably not going to get picked. Your kids are who are, you know, better looking and smaller. As a result, I remember I used to I used to like the idea. Are you getting into of, it now? I can I'm getting into it. it yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I I used to like the idea of you know public speaking and debating and all of that stuff. But I never even acting even those small Anyana house plays at school. I never went out and did it because I just thought ah, what are the chances that I get picked for this? Mm. And as a result, I didn't know that I I spoke so well. So that's why radio is something that I love. But I didn't think I could actually pull it off. And people were like, how? What do you mean? You mm. sound it. You live it. Like yeah. just be it. So you. 
Ah, as man, it's it's shitty. Great. How, how is it? How is it now? Now I I really don't care. I think the older you get, because first, the older the older you get, some things don't matter. You know, when you're younger, of course, marks and looks matter more. You grow up, all of a sudden, you realize actually, you know, so when you grow up, your priorities change. And as long as change, and as long as you have a good sense of self worth, I feel like then the world is your oyster. Now, here's my question. Um, yeah. With regards to weight, are, 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 you, are you the type to say, no, guys, um, embrace the way you look, um, embrace your weight, or do you encourage people to lose weight for health reasons? Like, what is your take on this whole weight thing? I think each to their own. Uh, if, if it bothers you, do something about it. If it doesn't, uh, then chill, you know? Okay, like, it's okay. because at the end of the day, you're all you've got. So if you're going to be hard on yourself because of what everybody else says, then you're going to live a very shitty life because yeah. you're going to lose weight. Somebody's going to say, now you've lost too much weight. You're not as pretty as the chubby loop. Yeah. You're going to, you know, that's stay it. this weight. And it's like, ah, oh, you've got such a pretty face. But that's you know, true. if you lost weight, you know? Yeah, so unless true. you're doing it for yourself and you understand exactly why you're doing it, don't do it for any other reason other than that. Yeah, I think Each it's to more like the, the, the Jennifer Hudson situation because when we were introduced to Jennifer Hudson, she was a plus size woman. Mm -hmm. And that's what... That's who we fell in love with. Yeah. And then quickly we say you say I lose the weight. And that was a big issue to some people. Ah, but now she doesn't look as great as she used to look when she was a plus size woman. Yeah. And people tend to forget Wuti. This is not she didn't lose the weight for us. She lost weight for herself. For herself. Yeah, well, yeah, now she feels good now mm. about how she looks. Maybe Lomund is the symbol and we fell in love with She didn't like that person. Yeah. And she did something about it, like how you just mentioned now. It's okay. No, it, 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 it's to their own. If you feel like you need to lose weight, lose it. But if you feel like you're having... It's like this um, this guy who, who drives. That, that always comes to, to Dev and wait for Namang Nama in your first deal. He's the happiest guy. He's, mm -hmm. a, he's a plus size uh, guy, low dance, AID. Mm. Happiest I'm, guy. I'm he looks very living happy. Living his best life. Yeah, he's living his best life. There's another, there's another video that is trending at the moment mm -hmm. on social media. Kono Usis Lapano. She's also a plus size and she's dancing. Mm. Usha is kindy. You mm -hmm. can see that she's happy. But Una Wanda was uncomfortable. But why is she dancing like that? Because she's big. And I never used to, and I, I, I would never understand why do people feel Uti, we should have an opinion. Yeah. Being uncomfortable yourself is, is what's going to do you the, the greatest disservice in life because as a result, even when I was younger, no matter what there's swimming lessons at school, I'd act like I'm sick. You know, there's yeah. athletics that act like I can't do it because I would feel uncomfortable having to, you know, Farai a swimming costume mm. at that size, at that age, because I knew mm. my peers are probably going to mock me. Mm. And now the girl doesn't know how to swim, but swimming lessons were available at hey, school because, hey, you know, so it does, it does you the greatest disservice. So I think the minute you, I look back now and I see how much, uh, yo, I missed out on so much. Mm. Chances are, had I picked up public speaking and debating and all of those things before, I'd be so much further. Mm. But, you know, so don't do it. Don't do yeah, yourself that disservice of thinking I, you're not I, good I, enough I, right I, now. There's a way that I can relate to, because now I'm on, like, at some point, at some point, at some point I was clocking about 115. Mm -hmm. And then now I dropped to 109, you know, in the corner. That's I won't the lie. weed. Yeah, boy. <laughs> no, not even the corner. It'll be short, because the corner, that's it. I mean, I, 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 I went through some shit, yeah, boy, until yeah. to the point where, like, you know, I was really low. I was depressed type of thing, yeah, boy. Mm. And then, yeah, boy, yeah. Um, to the point I couldn't even eat, yeah, boy. And that's why, like, you know, like, I dropped weight, because it, because it, it loses into layers, yeah, boy, personal shit that, that has happened, yeah, boy, in my life. Yeah. And, like, when you so, I bad about that. So, people also say, boy, was one neighbor, was one more but people don't understand yeah, what's going no, on in the background. That's the thing about I Abantu. To Abantu fans who always feel like they need to have an opinion. Mm. Like, um, mm. I mean, keep uh, it to yourself. Uh, keep it to yourself. Especially Abantu like, And for like, some reason, Abantu feel like Uchelu Muntu Gutu Nipil is a compliment. Exactly, but it's not. That is far from because that's company. the goal for most people. People are trying to be smaller than what they are right now. I get now. it, but now you don't even know what's in the Piranja. Some was unintentional. Something you know. Something you know. Something you know. Something you That's why in the Pil you don't know what's in the Piranja. You know, what's in the Piranja. You know, what's in the Piranja. Actually, speaking about this, because now I'm actually, um, I had my own challenges in the school. Mm -hmm. uh, because when I was born, getting through primary school, I mean, they, they, like everybody else's mm -hmm. eyes, you know, they were normal. Mm -hmm. 
And I just became that kid, DJ Wuti, living the talent shows. I'm probably leading a band. I'm probably going to be the guy who does uh, the closing on stage with my dance moves. And I've been told from the get go, hey, when you belong on stage, you must be like on TV, you must be on the radio. You must be seen, you must, you be, must be seen. Yes. So I grew up with that mentality. And when I started high school, that's when the eyesight here took like a sharp turn. You mm. know? And what color was sugar managing? I born with okay, I met them as a sugar, and then the left eye got so much worse. So, what I could actually pick it up from meeting a bandaba shoguti when I introduced myself in corner lento in the bona ibu so in bar shoguti. They're a bit reserved, they, they want to ask mm-hmm. something, but so, they don't. Yeah, so how many fingers do you see? Obviously, five. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I then realized in says high school, maybe this whole TV thing is not gonna work for me because I mean, you can't be on TV. If you start school and you go to a band, labo says never will have come back or back receive like everybody else. To a point which you sometimes catch people gossiping about you, and you have to act like how because you just want your day or or night to be. As the normal. same, yeah. The same. Omunyo is being so good talk boys, good to say. It's keep on, yeah, well. And the worst thing for me is that when you come across people that have the same problem, mm-hmm. and I will look at them and say, "Geez, this person looks bad." And then I quickly realize, Guti, damn, I also have the same problem. So now tell so me how, something. So how are people receiving me? For the people, for the people that ask, the people that are brave enough to ask, is that offensive to you, or does that make me happy? Because oh, that ice. Because yeah. they're trying to get a better understanding of, of of what it is. Does it offend you, or does it make you happy? At first, it used to very much offend me. Mm-hmm. Okay, why why you booze? Like, do I not look normal to you? Mm-hmm. Why you booze? Why are you putting me on the spotlight? Mm-hmm. Because in the beginning, I didn't have answers. Then all of a sudden things just started changing for me. So being being a nice understanding at that time. And it so happened with understanding Yami, Yahamba at a time when I lost my mom. You know, so I was basically on my own. So I needed to have I needed to find my answers for myself. I didn't mm. have a, a parent who's going to take me to an optometrist or wherever, a specialist would see and just try to find out who to keep on. Because the first doctor I went to, Wang Chai Luguta, I know where now you're allergic to the pollen of uh, the plant. Um, so that's what's messing with your eyesight. Uh, you just need to, uh, we're going to prescribe you my eye drops and then you need to wear my glasses. And for the longest time, I was saying, which I don't have a problem with my eyesight. I can see mm-hmm. and I can read. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, the only problem I have is that this eye is changing. It's only like after when I was in college, actually, I think it must have been second year, when I started seeing a specialist, it was okay, I really found out what is wrong with me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, when I was told, it was okay, because an eye has three layers, the one layer, yeah, um, so that's the, 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 that layer that is supposed to protect uh, pubic hair is the one that is damaged. Mm-hmm. So honestly, the best thing we can do for you was to fag Mm-hmm. And yini mabul. I had to ask. Okay, so if I mabul, it means now what? It's like when you tell me so still, it can't um, yeah. turn. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. this is the only eye going to function. Le, yeah. it's just going to look normal, stationary. but it's stationary. It's gonna. St- and you were like, no. And I was like, no. And I was like, no. And for me, that's when my TV dream and becoming the stage person sort of like died but nobody knew about this it's actually the first time i'm speaking about it yeah. nobody knew about this mm. so and i was like you know what if anything i need to make the radio thing happen for me i love radio because i'm basically behind the mic and i just have to say whatever i need to say people don't have to see me it's actually a bit of a challenge now because radio has become that platform where now people need to see and relate to Mm-hmm. It was a problem because I used to, I used to wear glasses and shades when I go to see people. It's only now that I've started to say, "Excel, mm. If you don't like it, you don't like it. I don't care." Yeah. 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 
Yeah, no, yeah. So that's your panel of HNL. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and this is not even the first episode. This is still, this is still just the pilot, yeah? Yeah, it's, it's just it's the pilot. Um, I, I never really understood why we, we can't just get to episode one. Why am I going to be pilot? I think it's a statistic. Oh, okay. Actually, speaking of pilot, Actually, speaking of a pilot, did you guys see that tweet? Um, uh, I can't remember the... Um, pilot Mba. The tweet. Yeah. But he tweeted something about... His girlfriend, yeah, he used to think I'm a Mac are the coolest thing up until I'm landing in Banu. I was like, what? The game is <laughs> completely. It's real. Completely. It's you know what I love about South Africa, right? Yeah. What's it called? But that was very, very realistic. Cause what's in jail? Oh, when I go to girlfriend, yeah, I go go land on my plane. Go in space. So what's it land on my plane? Um, pick up, go pick and journey. How are you picking up? Shall we shop? We are okay. So in a corner, we are not going to windows. Oh, yeah, born again. No, guys, we're talking about more now. I want to let the Kuluma right now. The <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, oh, I see. She would see how South Africans are like that. But then there was also one person who said, Nami being Landi Chiriam a quantum. And then somebody responded and said, She must have felt super special being the only passenger on a quantum. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> because whatever, whatever your, your hustle is, I mean, flex on I. It's fine. Yeah, well, true. You know, for the quantum, I'm going to call you a quantum. See, I can't. I'm going to call you a PC. I understand. I'm going to call you a quantum. I'm going to call you a quantum. I'm going to call you a quantum. Helicopter. Yeah, true. Hey. It's something else. So, the uh, so, uh, uh, there's a helicopter or the airplane? Nah, obviously helicopter. Oh, helicopter. Oh, yeah, obviously stop. helicopter. Yeah, oh, I'm landing a helicopter. Oh, baby, oh. I date. Actually, lending is like a Valentine's. Oh. I don't know if you guys saw the <laughs> gifts people are getting this Valentine's Day. We would have won a game. It's in Chile completely. I mean, I have to understand because I feel like a Valentine's like three years ago. It wasn't like a spectacle. Manja, who sang Gennett and Ningi, Nama Rose, a pretty good time. Look out, I'm telling you, when Manja, Napoli Sanas, Nayo, and Naida, they go to the soda, your kind of eye, but for time, much about where to Musan, 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 guys, shiny dates. Dog, I felt so bad because the most I did for my partner on Valentine's Day, we actually woke up, as a shy shower, and we went to go have waffles. And that was it. And that was it. But I'm sure the restaurant did something special. Of course, but I need to, uh, it it needed to look special. And that was it. I I think I I didn't even spend more than 500 grand. That was it. She was happy. I was happy. We went back home. We watched soccer the entire day. We was happy. Mm. And then... That day, while I was on Instagram, actually, mm. I wonder what people are getting Rolexes mm. and stuff. Hey, so I don't know. What am I picking up? Not me the most I did was go for a hike. It's just saying, it came in 5 a.m. Oh, yeah, bro. What's the thing with the Valentine's are called? Even on my campaign, I told us something about Valentine's. Yeah, but once okay, no, it, it came, it came. My face to is another level. Yeah, but now I'm talking about something that talks about. Now we need to see the. But when Kalama Rose, you guys like old men, old hillcrest, those old really McDonald's. What's it baby now? It's for you. It's for you. But you keep it simple, and you know what? That's okay as well. Yeah, but guys, I mean, I believe it, but you're not picking a bunch of bunch. Yeah, but yeah, because it's just a fun. Mm. Yeah, like definitely, you know, so definitely. There's, there's devils up there, and definitely. guys, as guys. But do you, understand. but do you think it's a it's a budget mm. factor, or is it we're doing it because mm. because I just felt like at some point, second mm. element, we could say Yeah, of course. I mean, so an entire that. concert oh, with Zonke huh. at a stadium huh. during a pandemic. La la la. When people when people are clearly suffering, mm. and you out here. Come on. No, no, of course. You call your element level, it's okay. No, I want I wanna do it for the I wanna do it for the people. I'll do it for social media. Call her low, you know. Because mm. I mean, guys, come on. Jeez. I, I I feel like um it can get a manager, uh like nothing. Like we we revolve around social media. Mm. Everyone has to be seen. Yeah. Whether or shy queen and a panem lies got she or shy in kalankala the crab la pecking to everyone has to be seen. Everyone's away. So after everything revolves on social media. Yeah. yeah, instead of helping. It's the social media. So and for me, like, like I don't mind like you you, you could go to those measures, ne? Mm-hmm. If you can afford, you can. Mm-hmm. Yes. But then now you have an entire camera crew. 
I guess that's the, the thing. Footage. Undu said we are the generation that likes to be seen. So I feel like even men now, their mentality has shifted to let me not make her happy in private. Let her be able to go live on Instagram. or Because that's where you get the most, the mm. most attention. So even when somebody wants to make you happy, they'll make you happy by giving you something that you can go big with on social media. Like going live at a stadium. Do you need something for Valentine's Day? But me, no. Mm. No, we, 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 next to you. we went, we went hiking. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and that's fine as well. Holy oh, lay. That's all his dress. But, we went hiking. A big corner, in terms of I wish he had done more. No, no. I, mm. I, 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 oh, I'm, I because sometimes I feel like Abantu Besfazani, don't get me wrong, mm-hmm. Abantu Besfazani are able to and say, you know what, I would have appreciated or loved a Gucci bag. Mm-hmm. However, because you can't get it, I'm going to act like I'm happy because I've got hiking or waffles. True. And um, however, okay. why would I spend 700 bucks on roses? I'm just going to say, 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 i am just we could have done something cute. But girls something. love romance, dog. You, no. you saw the tweet by Umpru. Uh, it's a lot of Umpru, Umpru said, I, 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 I can't quote it word for word right mm. now. Yeah. Yeah. But her tweet was, um, about the best fans and buy a tiny romance and they like to be spoiled. That's true. So don't uh, fall for the trap. I don't want anything for Valentine's. She clearly wants something for Valentine's, but she can see that you can't afford. So she's going to act like a good. But now you see now. Yes. There's, there's, there's 365 days in a year. Exactly. That's oh, where yeah. I was about to take this. So, Wooty, if my man spills me a random... I mean, there was Valentine's, but earlier that yeah. week he had done something nice, yeah. and then the following week he exactly. gave me money to go do my on, nails. And the following, so why am I going to stress over one day? Exactly. One day, 24 hours. Why yeah. am I going to stress over one day? Yeah. If he just yeah. does random acts of just uh, uh, romantic uh, uh, gestures. I uh, told uh, uh, that uh, next week, i up. No, but it's not Valentine's Day now, bro. No, but I'm just I, saying that this besides the point. I'm saying it's okay. Guys, we we we, we come. Nobody, nobody's saying you, you can't do random dates. No, I get you. Gifts. No, I get you. But, but when it comes to Valentine's, you must show up. No, of course, showcase. Not showcase. necessarily. I, I understand. But guys, I mean, I don't think a lot of guys will glorify, you know, Valentine's. Again, it's just one day out of 365 days. It's a birthday. It's an anniversary. Come on, guys. I'm used to, okay, like with Valentine's. Again, I say, guys, it's, 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 there's levels. It's, it's levels for different people. If they're calling you out, they're, they're going to do something better than you. Yeah. Out oh, no, of course. Yeah, Absolutely. Doing. And it's so crazy right now, Lou, because we're talking about Valentine's Day and it, it, it's almost sounding like if Valentine's about to be Fazan. And I feel like when it comes to Valentine's Day, about to be Fazan, never put any effort. They are all just always waiting to take. Hey. They just want to take. Hey. And you here representing <laughs> all the women. Well, what, did, what did you get for your man on Valentine's Day? It, it takes a rank. <laughs> Ladies, please tweet at me real quick. Give me a good it response. Did she solve this? 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 Valentine's Day. What's the story there by, by women in Valentine's Day? Why are you putting me on the spot like this? Because now I'm supposed oh, to find a good response. You are born again. Now I'm representing the whole <laughs> of the sisters. How am I supposed to do that? Um, I don't know, man. Love is, is, is give and take. But yes, Valentine's has been seen as something where men need to go the extra mile and ladies just sit there and receive. Maybe it's because you guys are receiving all year round. You guys get cooked for, cleaned for, and all of those nice things. Maybe that's why. Why? why, why <laughs> you, my, 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 you, you mentioned everything. And you left out the one thing. What? Why are you leaving at rounds? Drop a ninja out a No, just buy him socks, give him rounds. That's his gift. Ah, but come on, dog. I'm getting sex all the time. Yeah, but now. Day, I want to but this is special old Valentine's. Now we get a PS5. But I'm it, 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 thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Only PS5, never came so six. Never came so eight. <laughs> I'm still okay. stuck on the PS5 <laughs> on the <laughs> toe. At least. At least. Yeah, at least. yeah no, tires and socks. Oh, tires? I thought you meant tires. That's like four case tires and socks. That's a good name. You check. <laughs> Actually, so could have been a bit by the Tides Day, no time. Like, guys, how do you guys feel about that show, I Love Island? 
Yo. I had sponsors were pulling up. Yo. Sure. Black Twitter is mad. Black Twitter and what's is not. mad. Yeah. Yo, Love Island on Mnet. People are not so impressed. I actually saw um, <laughs> because when I saw the the hashtag, I went to go find out what is happening there. And then mm-hmm. diversity and whatnot. The following day, I see this big black buff guy. Who's the only black guy? Banturang or something like they that. They asked him, what's your love language? He said, French. <laughs> <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> oh, doing it for all the gym freaks. Ah, come doing on, it for man, all the gym freaks. You're letting us down. <laughs> you are letting us down. So now, oh you see, with, 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 with how they picked the locals, the, 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 the contest and stuff, yeah, but, and according to this information, I'm engaged really yeah, but, through... Abandu, yeah, yeah, bo, wada, 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 yeah, because you are yeah, well connected. Yeah, so now apparently, ulo, u, the the the, the a lot of people, black, white, coloured, yeah, the, the works, yeah, bo, the, there's, there's, there's a company that, 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 that does all of that. So you call I don't want to mention it. Yeah, don't yeah, mention bo, it. Yeah. Don't mention yeah. It. Now, that company at the end of the day, as much as yeah, bo, they were hired to do all of that, but Abandu at the final say was was Mnet, yeah, bo. So the color go to Mnet, I'm a I'm a producer called the 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 old people. Yeah, but not the little type of thing. Oh, yeah, so back now logo go to come on still old people and about they're not inclined what's going on today type of thing about the yeah, 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 I understand. So now, so apparently to um, na ko na nine masterpiece. Apparently they're looking for black people about 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 the twelve. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I saw, I saw actually the lady, the, the black lady that is there, yeah, almost sounds like very, very, very white. Yeah, yeah no. Even the guy too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the, the Pujo guy. The Pujo, oh, Pujo. yeah, oh, Pujo. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> uh, it's quite strange. It's okay, like, you know, so but, 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 that's how the selected people are born today. And, like, it's crazy because now dog, okay, like, Ufuna, you, you want people who are, oh, I'm so used to the term, but about my coconut, yeah, bo. Mm. But now, what's going to happen now if you cast the Lokuza, Umundu, coconut? The same guy is going to go for the white lady. Go. Yeah. I saw the Lokuza, Yeah. I love that because so, it, didn't they say that there's going to be more people joining as time goes on? Emergency blacks. Emergency blacks. Emergency they blacks. Yeah. So they're definitely going to try fix it there. But I think also for a country that has. Why must it get there, Lou? Why must it get there? I yeah, mean, no. In 2021, why must it get to a point where no drama sponsors are pulling out and there are hashtags that are trending, this and that, and then only you realize that you need to do something about it? Yes, the MSLB is tricky and difficult. People think they can get away with, 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 with a whole lot, and then by maybe even here they were hoping to get away with it, but they should definitely cast more Indians, more coloreds, more black people, and just make sure it's more diverse. Yes, they shouldn't wait for things to get this bad in order to find a solution, because, but at the same time... And many by year have learned of of costing colored people, but like oh no, but they fall under black people. No, many by year have learned to learn. But yeah, because honestly, even though, Indian ones. Yeah, because yeah. I honestly, I feel like we don't go through the same struggles. No, like in as much as you look at colored people and say, okay, yeah, they fall no, under black. No. But I honestly feel like we don't go through the same struggles. No. But we've had this conversation before. That's why even on forms, they've got their own little block where it's yeah, black, true, white, true. colored. Yeah, yeah. we've yeah. had this conversation where it's yeah. like, no, they're, 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 they're a different race on their own and not just a mixture of black and white. And it's so, it's so sick because even when it comes to like corporate, you know, companies and decision makers, because I feel like this is... Uh, a very great example to what corporate goes through on a daily basis, you mm-hmm. know? Because now you sit there and think, Uguti, where they're not blacks when they were casting these people, they probably were. Plenty. They, were probably, they probably saw this thing yeah. and they probably said something about it. But because the decision makers. Mm. But you know, also, I wanted to say, Uguti, what was their. when they were advertising, Uguti. In terms of my and Uguti, you know, we still have this mentality which is certain channels are for us, by us. True. We still have that, that type of mentality. And that's why when you get shows like, like for instance, Mocha Love, We Are Jola 99, people were complaining, saying, Uguti, it paints a black picture, on, it paints a bad picture on black people because actually we are the only race that cheats mm. in a country where everybody, True. in a world where everybody cheats. Yeah. But my thing is, 
whoever sends in an application, that's who you help. What if Kulav Island, they, 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 I don't know, like not enough black people applied? I'm not saying maybe not enough, but what if, they, it's because they only advertise it on those, you need, it's, what is it, premium, premium channel, right? Yeah. Mnet is on premium, mm. right? Yeah, premium. Because they advertise it on premium subscribers to premium channels, only premium people saw it, and those people are not really interested in it. Maybe had they advertise it on a different platform in a yeah. different way in Plumbe. Actually, you, 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 you quite, you do have a point, Labo, because now, I mean, I was a question, why was in Love Island? Because I, I'm thinking when it comes to shows like that, Gunama activations, Gunama adverts, apart from just TV, ne? Yeah. Um, gang, I bought a pamphlet in Love Island. Emla is a mega city. Ogani, a pretty city. Uncas and I bought. But if I go to Palito, where you're going to find coconuts? That's true. Then you definitely you are see going it. To, you definitely go, you mm. gonna see it. Because even the pill pot, they were born in Jerusalem. Yeah, we born in Love Island. So, we are looking for the better blacks. Yeah. So, now, question so this pose that's okay. So, would you say it's okay, Mnet? Are they, I'm trying to look for a term, are, are, are they racist driven? Ban closed doors? No, I, I think they're just ignorant. Ignorant? Yeah. Okay. They just very much And they much probably ignorant. just applying for their, their target market. They mm. probably feel like people that watch Mnet are predominantly white. So mm. if we've got more black people on, on you, you, Black you, Island, less white people are going to watch. Even in 2021. It's a, my, my thing is, it's a South African show. Exactly. And it is a South African. Guys, black people. And guys, so 80% no. Because now I go. Now you can't plant. Song as a book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Darky, Ndia, colored white song as a book. So how? How can you say to Love Island? Um, they played it yes, safe. Yes, <laughs> you know, guys, <laughs> my name is show before you Love Island. True. We had Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? We all watched that. Outside Digger Manji Locosa, these reality shows. There were so many shows on, on, on Mnet that we all watched. Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Cod Blanche. Uh, Guys, KTV, or Taki Bayas, or KTV Bayas. So I stick with one now. It's okay. You have Alan this year. But you have Alan this year. 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 You So you can't tell me what's okay. No, you have Alan this for premium subscribers. And then you, you assume it's okay. No, it's the other race. No, guys. And also, Nako and Afuti. Um, where they advertise, there are black people. Mm -hmm. mm. For you to come here and tell me what we could only manage to find two. Mm. Mm -hmm. Even besides that, yeah. Guys, Emmett goes back to the times of Pizza and Dor. Pizza and Dor, man, you uh, Is it ETV, I think? Yeah, no, I don't know. But Pizza and Dor, guys, he was the face of Emmett, and we're still, we're still familiar with them. Yeah, but so you can't tell me it's okay, you know, Emmett is for, is for that race, no. We're not saying Mnet is for a particular race. Do you see sure you couldn't come here but a particular race? Born I'm saying mm. Tina, we're there. We're watching but it. But yeah. I'm saying they're okay. They're wrong for that. Though, because the Tina and the guys must be my man of Mnet guys. They're so diverse compared to other guys. Yeah, but it's only the thing is it's only South Africa it's where we where we came across this very same problem. Exactly. How? Yeah, over yeah, and it's over only South again. And now they're going to come back to us and say, hey, but guys, we gave you idols. Nah. <laughs> So he gave you idols. But can I ask idols, idols used to be majority white. Yeah. Yeah. Up until Kayam Tetra came. I, and ah. then shit just changed. We are born. And then idols moved to Zanti Magic. And now all of a sudden you only see like four or five contestants who are white. Mm -hmm. And out of the four or five, only one probably makes it like top 16. And then what's, what's, what's that other singing competition where you'd find mostly white people? Is it The Voice? The Voice. And, and, yeah, the voice. You see what I'm yeah. saying? And, and, as much as we uh, don't want to separate ourselves from mm. each other, naturally it happens because where there's, you, you're most probably going to go to idols because there's black judges and you, mm. you'd feel more comfortable in that space. True. Even when you walk into a, ro a room full of strangers, you'll see a group of white people, a group of... The, you'll probably gravitate to the black people. That's just the way it is. And guys, sorry, it's cut you. Mm -hmm. about their foods. Not a big brother as well. Big brother. Another example. Do people still watch Big Brother? That's besides the point, though. But okay. the fact was okay. If Big Brother was so diverse, I mean, I remember Big Brother. Uh, big Brother was about diverse. Who fed it? Lam Lung was a cop. Who won it? At the same time, that Big Brother. When I had to open it, it's TV one or two. I, 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 I,
who don't put powder there. Okay. Everyone's alert. This is like when? 1999? No, this was, two, this was 2000 and... 2000 and... Two, yeah, lab. Like, yeah. Oh, one, oh, two. Yeah, but okay. So for people to now come now and try be like convince us it's okay, no, in life island or Takabang Bozana. How come guys were shows were many shows before you look love island where Koli pick up guys we've had a big brother among I'm uh -huh. sure seven, eight. Um, we we're, we're like what three big brother Africans, if not four. Mm. So guys, we can't make we, we can't make excuses for, for, for these production companies, especially oh, Mnet Lab. Yeah, no. We've been I, 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 I think it's, it's cut. So when my excuses, yeah, it's done. It's it's done. done. Yeah. You know, it's over. I'm glad the Woody big sponsors pulled out because they felt like okay, uh, mm -hmm. so we're pulling out, and I'm glad Woody change is going to happen. Change is going to come. However, in 2021, we cannot still be accepting such mistakes. Yeah, but how cringeworthy was that whole couple up thing where you have to step forward if you want a guy step forward, Bro. and then you step forward, and then the guy doesn't pick you, and you're just like, hey, come now on, now I must go back. Come <laughs> on. Speaking of things uh, that actually made it on uh, the TV. Mm -hmm. The new Biggie documentary. Um, it came out on Netflix, I think, on on Wednesday, if not Tuesday. Mm. And people have been saying a lot about it. Last week, Tuesday or Wednesday, somewhere there. Mm. Um, people have been saying a lot about it. I personally, right, when I saw the advert, I was like, what is more am, am I going to learn or know? Because I feel like there's been a lot that's been done before, you know? On Biggie. It, 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 it's all going to boil down to, man, Biggie was killed and his case is still not solved. But apparently, but see, this, this documentary is slightly different from all the others because it doesn't focus on the murder mystery. It focuses on you know, the role he played in yeah. music and just him as an individual. Yeah, no, the absolutely. I watched it. I watched all of it. Yeah. Did you feel like it was different from the others? It was different from the others. But mm -hmm. in conclusion, his murder case did not solve. <laughs> Biggie was killed. There we go. Done. And the Abolian Aona, guys, we, we, we know it influenced your piggy in the rap game or in the hip hop game or the pop culture. See, I was going to there's been so many hip hop documentaries based around hip hop, or Biggie, Tupac, L, Cool J, like I could go on. But, I mean, I feel like, we 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 met how we died. Yeah. Because I'll, I'll tell you right now, yeah. Mina, 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 yeah. I see. No. I, I I see all, all all these documentaries that are mainstream. I feel like all the cause I go Netflix social claim. Let me tell you something. Mina, I saw a documentary. Yes, it wasn't mainstream. It wasn't something big. Documentary from who? Biggie's bodyguard, who was there on the night of the murder. Actually, he was there the whole trip. Le, 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 yeah. Yeah. He was there, and the way he broke it down. But for don't get me wrong, I mean, I'm not king on no, 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 Puff Daddy. Hey! Yeah, 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 I just feel like... I'm sorry, guys, but I, I, I just feel like... Go off! I just, I just feel like that man, guys... Go off! I just feel like that man was, 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 was clumsy. And like, he didn't care about his, about his artists. Because now, here's the thing. I've been saying, though. Guys, I've been saying. guys, we praise, we praise Puff Daddy too much. We praise Sean Combs too much. Now, I'm trying to go to okay. Uh, 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 your, your, your enemy was killed. Your enemy was killed. And the same enemy that was killed was affiliated with the West Coast, LA. And then when a couple of months later, as you as, as puffed there, you say, it's okay, no guys, let's fly to LA. Let's go party let's there. Let's go party there. Let's go record music there. Ah, Knowing on. very well what's okay. The hip hop scene back then, it was hot because it was it controlled was by my hot. times. It was hot. It was hot. So, I mean, come on. And you know what's crazy? Here's a fact about the Bangayas. Biggie was supposed to fly out to a UK to go tour there, to go perform there. Mm -hmm. The same night he flew to LA? No, I don't say the same night, but... Okay, but he was supposed to go there. He was supposed there. to go yeah, there. Okay. Like three days before, whatever. But Ulo, who P did was like, nope, you're not going there. We're in NJ, we're going to oh, yeah, LA. LA. You need to go show face to LA. So and, say, and say, um, I want to be for when I'm Ukraine. <laughs> Come on, guys. It, so it, you feel like he cut Biggie's life short? Oh, of course, one. guys. What do you understand about hip hop? I've been saying. Yeah, hip, hip hop beef oh is, 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 is deeper than what we see. Okay. Mm. It's, it's it's gang affiliated. Mm. Like there's so many there's so many politics. 
Ebo. Mm. So that's where that, that, that's where people first, first understand it's okay. And it's, it's, it's crazy because Abadaba Jungle PD knew knew the consequences. But when they were like now. Nah, and you, 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 you have to question yourself, what did he lose? Okay, yes, I lost Biggie that night, but what did he lose? Did he lose his credit, credibility? No. Did he lose money? No. Still getting those royalties. He's still, he's still getting it. Mm. And what's crazy in the call? Then it's he died in a normal. But he died. In my life, I can't feel again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. No, that's crazy. I watched that talkie and of course I was watching it and I was just like, okay. Um, but the nice thing about it is that you get to see the real clips because um, one of um, the crew members, uh, Agapi, when they go out to perform, um, I actually found out on the documentary, Wuti, they got documented everything. So they had a camera. Mm. So nothing is, is, is acted out. You see real clips mm. of yeah. him, you know, um, from the time he was he started selling drugs and the time when he started um, rapping, you know, mm-hmm. uh, uh, doing my rap battles on the streets and, and, and so on to him becoming like a, a brand, you know. So you see real clips and obviously when about Alokuza and Abakuluma in the background, we're talking about this because we're talking about this because I appreciated that. But also I'm thinking to myself, it's okay. I was hoping would see at least this talk is going to give me some light or some way for me to see which okay um uping that's all who are showing up and about angie but in the, it's still no clue nothing mm. yeah because i mean i guys i mean honestly i mean i don't do i mean i hold repeatedly responsible bro for the like i said this i, I said because we had this conversation at college and i was like guys if you want to find out if if you want to know sit that man down and ask him what happened yeah because mm. guys yep, yep, sit yep, that man down yeah. and ask him what happened yeah because guys yeah but now even uh, even this, this this big documentary about yeah, the, 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 the West Coast versus East Coast uh, beef. Mm-hmm. Hey guys, there's so many secrets there. Oh, no, oh, oh, Snoop, not Dr. Dre. If they had to talk, mm. the that, 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 shit that, will that, pop yeah, off. Yeah, 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 same thing with Zoom. <laughs> Every time we have to speak. I, we are not going in no, politics. No, no, we're please. not. I'm just saying it's okay. Like, that's how it is. It's okay. If those three people, Diddy, Snoop, and Trey, had to speak, then Trey. Because, you know, we, 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 we know who killed the Lokuzu Tupac. But man, it's us to buy the Bula Lupi. And that's the issue. Yeah, but. Got a lava by us, God. Yeah, we, we still want to find out. But I think from watching that docky, yeah, the one thing I really appreciated and actually enjoyed was me finding out that Biggie is actually Jamaican mm-hmm. and he's from Jamaica and his uncle was actually a jazz musician. So Umawa Kubegati, every summer holidays, they would go to Jamaica. And that's where uh, he fell in love him, with music. Yeah, for him just to not just to not lose that touch with his family and where he comes from mm. and Atumawake, uh, he would uncle wake be like performer he would take him with to mm. perform mm. um and then i actually found out what his first freestyle was done over in goma is it uh total africa that that beat oh. yeah so I was like, okay, um, this this is actually great. I'm finding out something new, something new. A, a, about him on 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 this docky, and the fact that music was 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 driven. He got his inspiration from jazz and reggae music. Mm. Nice. I was like, wow. Yeah, but I'm not going to lie. I'm going to Why pillow cheese? He was dancing to vocalistic not the other day. Why pillow cheese? He didn't crop in. I he was he was dancing like he was. He was nice. However, I won't lie. He was nice. No, of course. He's still nice. No, of course, but I won't lie. But but I mean, I'll give him credit. It's okay. No, that that guy built an empire. That guy gave us you know the locks, gave us Lil Kim, gave us Big, gave us Craig Mack. No, I won't lie. That 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 that, that man. I'm also calling Muntu, oh, who's a hustler, and Muntu has seven and pull something from the ground up. Shame, it's that guy. That that boy, his hustle, and 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 and, and respect for the game. And in there, is in there wasn't that high to be where he is today. Yeah. I know that guy came a long way. Yeah, boy. The fact was okay. Like you came, I won't say you came from nothing, but dog, you worth what? You worth eight hundred million. Yeah, boy. 
yeah. of your hustle. That is pretty sick. Uh, yeah, that's sick. That's something big. It's pretty sick. Yeah, boy. So, yeah, boy. Shout out to him. Sure. Kotanji. Kotanji. Who killed Biggie? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who killed Biggie? Oh, with Key One of Five now. Yeah, you should check it out, yeah. man. Uh, I've got a story to tell. Biggest it. documentary is out right now on Netflix. Make sure that you check it out. The same young and then you do a claiming Gutu Styles piece from Clement. I'm Sean. No, guys. I know. No, you're mad. I thought I'm going to be No, you're mad. Okay, no, wait. I do. Okay, okay. Then it's getting another just those styles, pure, said Clement. God, still calling some of the P. April, make them want to shine In fact, wait. You can tell to her, no, undo, una manga, wash out to him. Ask them both. Also, to do this, I said, Chella Payana, go YouTube. I'm sure. I know. First boy, Laser, it is tall. First boy, Laser. First boy, Laser. Only to find out it's okay. I'm actually, I just learned that it was last year. Yeah, last year, to look who starts P. Mark or one. Yeah, actually, South African. Yeah, one of the. So. Yeah, but it's possible, but that's a real picture right there. Ulo, who starts P? It's a claim. Then I just told myself, shoot out Ulo and Makukul and Makukul and J. I didn't even know the person who took the picture. I should. Yeah, well, and Makukul, for those who don't know, is a is a hip hop pioneer like it's a green. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking about the cat is all so Abdus. Abdus. So that's my boy. That's my boy. So yeah, the moment I saw the picture on his profile, that's all Makukulu and Joey and Kosi and Joey. Yeah, that's my boy. Yeah, shout out to Ayanda by the way. So yeah, yeah. no, shout out, shout out, guys. The hip hop game in Durban is actually on the rise. Is um, Ayanda? Why Ayanda always the shop? No, Ayanda always the shop. Hip hop guys say well, no, I'm from Jobek. How do you know about mm. Devin stuff? I've been here for a while. <laughs> like, what do you mean? I know I live under a rock, but like, my rock is... <laughs> he said, shout out to my boys, man. Um, uh, T-Bag, um, um, DJ Wobbly, Lex Lafoy, um, uh, Taxi Driver. What's his name again, Silo? Uskindi. Um, they launched Imalini Records. Oh, so it's basically a hip hop movement in Durban. Mm-hmm. So please make sure that you check it out. Imalini Records. That's how we're gonna wrap it up today. Um, and yeah, you guys make sure that you subscribe and let us know how we can obviously make the podcast a bit better. Yeah, and comment, I, like, share, all of those types of those things, man. Guys, yeah, follow me on the Twitter, Instagram at hezysa. That is H E A Z Y S A one word. We were socially aware of guys, okay, your comments will be appreciated. Nonetheless, I call us or, you know, try to do something with us. So, your comments will be appreciated, negative or positive. With the name, we are, we're learning. So, yeah, follow me as well on Twitter and Instagram, Ndui underscore Escobar, a.k.a. Ndui Fatan, a.k.a. Ndui Fan Escobar. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is pretty simple, probably not even worth sharing. But anyway, at the Luanda, T H W E, and my name is where you'll find me across all social media platforms. Other than that, uh, yeah, Luanda Kambule is where you'll find me as well. It's a rap. It's a rap. Guys, honest opinion. How do we do? Shit show, bro. Shit show.